Before we guide you through the installation process, let's see what's in the box. You get the Predator 240, thermal paste, PWM and power cable, mounting screws, and CPU mounting mechanism. Be sure to read the installation manual thoroughly. This guide is not meant as a replacement for the installation manual. First, you'll have to prepare your PC chassis for mounting the unit. While there are many different cases on the market, they do share some similarities and features. You should remove the panels and decide on the position of the unit. See the installation manual for the correct orientation. You can use a measuring tape to find out if the unit will fit. Take the enclosed connection cable and plug the two-pin connector to the fan splitter hub. Take the enclosed power cable and plug the two-pin connector to the fan splitter hub. Prepare the precise mount universal CPU mounting mechanism. If you have the Intel LGA-115X socket motherboard, you have to use M4 threaded thumb screws. If you have the Intel LGA-2011 socket motherboard, you have to use LGA-2011 M4 threaded mounting studs. Please remove the motherboard from your computer and place it on an even surface with the front facing down. The rubber gasket has a partially cut inner part which needs to be removed when installed on the Intel LGA-115X motherboard. The rubber is held on in four places and can be peeled away with your hand. Install the backplate rubber gasket and place the metal backplate with ribbed side up. Align the holes on the motherboard with the holes on the rubber gasket and backplate. With one hand, carefully rotate the motherboard assembly with the front side facing up, while holding the back plate and rubber gasket in place with the other hand. Now you have to install four M4 thumb screws into your motherboard. It's mandatory to put the enclosed plastic washers underneath each of the M4 thumb screws. Tighten the screws to the metal back plate until you reach the end of the thread. Do not use any tools such as pliers during this process. Your motherboard is now ready to be installed back to your PC chassis. Before you mount your Predator, we recommend you examine your motherboard and locate the CPU fan header. If it's hard to reach, take the PWM cable from the Predator splitter hub and connect it to the motherboard before mounting the Predator. For better cable management, you can also prepare the power cable from the Predator splitter hub. After you determine the Predator position and orientation, you can use the enclosed screws to firmly mount the unit in the desired place. Take the enclosed thermal grease and apply it to the CPU surface. The quantity of about two rice grains is just about right. Applying too much thermal grease will have a negative impact on the cooling performance. Take the water block and remove the sticker on the copper head. Align the water block over the mounting screws. Place an enclosed coiled spring and thumb nut over each M4 thumb screw. Start fastening two thumb nuts at a time, preferably in a cross pattern, and don't tighten them fully until all of them are partially screwed in. Then, using only your fingers, screw in all four thumb nuts until you reach the end of the thread. Take the power cable from the Predator splitter hub and connect it to the SATA power supply cable. Check with your power supply installation manual for the correct connector. Your Predator installation is now complete. You can proceed to installing other components and connecting the rest of the cables.